We have to deal with the governments in the countries uh, who are de facto in power. If we have to deal with them, whether they are elected or not, because in most cases, if you say, I will not have nothing to do with them, and uh, we will ostracize them, you'll make things worse rather than better. Uh, the Thai government is a military government, but they are in charge of the country. They are members of ASEAN. We have to do business with them. Uh, Myanmar has had a, had a military government for many years. Uh, America, many Western countries, the Europeans, tried to ostracize them as a matter of policy. We disagreed with that policy. We explained why. We thought it was better that they are within ASEAN, that we talk to them, we engage them, that we can influence them. Not that they will listen to us, but we can influence each other and it's better that they know how other countries operate and gradually there will be change in Myanmar. And we keep them as our friend and we are able to continue to work together. And I think we did the right thing with Myanmar because with Myanmar, uh, in you, in, in you eventually, uh, the military government, they had a road map, they had a multi-stage process, they, they had a new constitution, they had a referendum, they had elections, they had a new government. The first elections, the military governments, the, the military's favored party won. There was President Tain Sen, who was previously um, the, um, the prime minister, became the president. And he continued the process. And today, they've had a new election. And now, uh, the NLD has won. And there's a process of forming a new government. And I discussed this with President Tain Sen at the ASEAN meeting last week. And he said, I congratulated him on the outcome, that he was able to manage this very complex, difficult process peacefully. He said, yes, it's not easy. And what he's most proud of is that he started his process at the same time as the Arab Spring. And the Arab Spring has become a very messy and unhappy situation, but in Myanmar, they've made progress as they've come here. So I think that we have to take a practical approach, and very often the practical approach, in fact, is in a broader scheme of things, uh, from a moral and humane point of view, also the right thing to do.